This is All Saints in Blackheath in London. And when I see this remarkable building, this glorious piece of self-confident stone, when I see this proud arrow to God set apart on the meadows of Blackheath, all I can think of is dance music, rock music, super self-assured South London bass attitude dancing across history. There's no wall around All Saints. It's as if this is saying, this is mine. This is all mine. London is mine. Pevsner described the church as already old fashioned. What? What? This can't be old fashioned because this is beyond fashion. This is a little black dress. Take that. Take that, Pevsner. Today, I'm being shown around the inside of the church by Dr. Nicholas Cranfield. And if you think the outside of the church looks good, just you wait. I, I guess I was maybe wondering whether there'd be something with all the saints on. Obviously, obviously you can't have all the saints, but maybe something with a lot of saints. There, there is. It's around the font. There are three further icons. One is the baptism of Christ in the River Jordan. One is of the Baptist. And the central one is actually of all saints. And again, it follows an orthodox tradition of encompassing all the saints. Oh, Hodgetaria. Thank you. Yes. Um, <laughs> That icon is very special to this parish. One of the members of the wider parish, somebody who lived in the parish, uh, Terry Waite, I mean, this church throughout the period of his confinement had been very much the centre for prayer and had been where the BBC had centred uh, their songs of praise when he was released. Terry Waite uh, then generously gave the parish uh, this icon, which is an 18th century Russian icon. The technical term is Our Lady Who Shows the Way. So her hand gesture is pointing to Christ Jesus sitting in her left arm. Um, when it was first built, it was ridiculed as being the three barns, and it was only later that the tower was added, uh, and that gives the asymmetry to the building. Wait, wait, what? Why is this surprising? If you take a trip up to General Wolfe, uh, stand right in the middle and look back towards the heath, you'll see the alignment straight away. It's even more obvious if you look on this old map where the alignment is absolutely clear. It's straight, dead straight. It's so obviously planned that if you could find another line that crossed it, it would almost be like where the buried treasure was hidden. Another line, another line? Dig, dig, I tells you. X marks the spot. Stop. Too silly. <clears throat> uh, please don't dig up Greenwich Park. In fact, the alignment isn't perfect and I didn't even realise until I filmed this video you can just see that it's slightly off centre but here's the thing it is a beautiful alignment if you're going to see that famous view from the top of Greenwich Park take a moment to turn around and face the other way it's remarkable oh the tower the, wasn't the, the tower was not originally part of the the parish didn't have the money even more so if the tower wasn't built with the original church the first time I came in this church I could see this was going to be worth looking at, but it wasn't until I came round the corner that I really saw what I was missing. You've got to tell me about this. Unbelievable. I mean, I saw it. It looked like an old master. Yeah. This is the giveaway. The giveaway is that I appear in it. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And the guy who painted this, Paul Lisak, who's a well-established artist here in London. Yeah. Uh, he uses old master techniques, so he primes his own canvases. He worked, I mean, this took him nearly nine months. And just to give you an idea of the scale, the figure of Christ on the cross is more than seven foot tall. So it was site specific. He knew the space of situating the events of the Bible in the present day. So all the figures down below, although I suppose you could say that the Mary Magdalene figure holding the bottom of the cross yeah. and the weeping Mary behind her and John, a sort of in biblical sort of Middle Eastern clothes, but all the rest of the figures are actually contemporary. That would have been uh, something that the medieval church understood, something that the old masters understood in the 16th, 17th, 18th century. And it makes my life much easier because I have to explain to kids in my primary school yeah. what Christianity says about crucifixion. And there's always one child who goes home and says, Mummy, Father Nicholas is so old, he was at the crucifixion. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Which actually means this is working. You can hear lots more from Dr Cranfield in the long video. Check out the links in the description. Like if you want others to see the video. Subscribe if you want to see more of my videos in the future. Thanks.